today we are going to discuss the topic screening of recombinants screening screening also known as selection to identification or selection or screening of recombinants as we know that after the introduction of recombinant into suitable host cells it is essential to identify those cells which have received the recombinant dna molecule and this process is known as screening now for example this is the host cell and we have transferred our recombinant dna in this host cell this is our recombinant dna which is transferred in this host cell but now how to select this cell because there are many cells in which we are not able to transfer our recombinant dna but how can we identify these cells this is the natural dna which is present in these cells but how to identify the cells with recombinant dna or may be possible that in few cells in some cells only plasmid is transformed plasmid is inserted so these are the cells with recombinant dna these are the cells where re, uh, transformation has taken place but not of recombinant dna only plasmid that is plasmid directly without recombination um, gets inserted or uh, transformed in this cell so here only plasmid is there but the cells which we need for further experiment for future is are these cells with recombinant dna so now our aim is to identify or select the cells with recombinant dna now this selection is based on certain traits as you all remember that there are some genes which are known as marker genes markers so if those markers the selection is based on the expression of those markers now there are some methods which were mainly used for selection of recombinant dna out of which one is direct selection method direct selection method now let us discuss this method that what is this direct selection method of screening now what is this direct selection method direct selection method up consider the cells bacterial cell for example this is e coli e coli in which normal plasmid is inserted now for example in this normal plasmid take an example of this normal plasmid for example in this normal plasmid ampicillin resistant gene is present ampicillin resistant gene is present so these cells becomes ampicillin resistant this is its own dna so these cells becomes ampicillin resistant because this ampicillin resistant gene is present in this normal plasmid ab now come back to another type of cell in which recombinant dna is present for example this is the recombinant dna now if we consider this particular cell with recombinant dna but because this is the same plasmid in which recombination has taken place so ampicillin resistant gene is also present in this plasmid so how to select these two cells now what we'll do it is difficult to select cells of these kind for example you have taken a media you have prepared a media and add ampicillin in this media ampicillin after adding ampicillin grow these bacteria in this particular media now if you grow these bacteria in this particular media to so both of these cells they have ampicillin resistant gene they will grow in this media both of the cells will grow in this media then what is the use of this ampicillin resistant plate the use is there are few e coli cells which we have not discussed there are few e coli cells where transformation has not taken place 
these cells have their own DNA and their own plasmid but this transformation this transformed plasmid has not taken place transformation has not taken place only these are the cells which cannot able to grow in this media this is direct selection in which these cells where transformation has not taken place will not grow in the media but the cells where transformation has taken place whether of recombinant DNA or directly plasmid has inserted plasmid transformation of plasmid has taken place both these cells can able to grow in this media because they have ampicillin resistant gene in it this is direct selection method